Welcome to week 14 of the college football season. This week, the number four ranked Oklahoma Sooners are taking on the number 14 ranked Baylor Bears. Oklahoma comes into this game at 9-1. Baylor is 8-2. Oklahoma still on top of the Big 12, but they're going to have to beat Baylor if they wish to stay there for the remainder of the season. Trevor Knight and the Sooners will get the ball first. Trevor Knight in shotgun on second and ten. Knight rolls out to his right side, looking downfield. Trevor Knight throws, and that's Micaiah Quick, who's wide open. Out across the 40 and brought down a 29-yard gain to start today. Trevor Knight's going to need to get off to a very good start if he wishes to beat the Baylor Bears. And now handoff to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. He's got good blocking and a first down for Oklahoma. A 10-yard gain on that play. So now first and 10. Trevor Knight in shotgun takes the snap. Knight. Throws to the outside, it's caught by Ford. Ford cuts to the outside and runs over one Baylor player and is knocked out of bounds. A 19-yard gain by Keith Ford on that screen play. Now first and 10 for Oklahoma. Samaj P. Ryan in the backfield. Trevor takes the snap. Knight going to the end zone. He's got a wide open man. That's Jeffrey Meade. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And just like that, OU drives down the field very easily on their first possession. And now we will see how Seth Russell and the Baylor Bears do. On first and 10, Russell takes the snap from shotgun. And he's going to run as there is no pressure and no one near the line of scrimmage. And he's got a 21-yard gain on the play. Now he sends Armstead in motion on first and 10. Hand off to Shock Linwood up the middle. And Linwood has a first down. This has been a problem for the Sooners as of late as they cannot defend the run that well. And now Russell on a play action throws to the outside. Caught by his tight end. And he's brought down by Hatari Bird. A 12-yard gain on the play. Now second and 14, Russell in shotgun at the play action, rolling out to his right side. A wide open Zamora. That's Ishmael Zamora for a 15-yard touchdown for Baylor, and that will tie this game up. So Trevor Knight comes out now on first and 10. Knight drops back, looking downfield. Trevor throwing to Samaj P. Ryan. He's got the first down. P. Ryan with a 13-yard gain on the play. So on the last possession, Edward Prince Jr. was injured for the Sooners with a mild concussion. He will be out for the rest of the day. So Zach Sanchez will go over to outside corner, and Stan Von Taylor is going to have to play inside corner. So now third and two for the Sooners. Trevor Knight, it's a read option. Knight's going to keep it himself. Knight up the middle. He's across the 50. Trevor Knight now off to the races, and he is going to be brought down deep in Baylor territory, a 35-yard gain on the play. Now it's second and 14 for the Sooners. Trevor Knight in shotgun takes the snap. Knight goes downfield. That's his tight end, Taylor McNamara, who catches it and is down inside the 10. A 23-yard gain for the Sooners on that play. Now it's second and goal. Trevor Knight in pistol. Keith Ford in the backfield. Hand off to Ford. Keith Ford is going to be down at the one-yard line. A five-yard gain on the play. Just short of the end zone. And that will bring out Samaj P. Ryan on third and goal. Pitches back to P. Ryan and into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Samaj P. Ryan, who is actually on the Heisman watch list as our backup running back, is having a tremendous season and right there he broke the record for most rushing touchdowns in a season by an Oklahoma running back and now second and three Russell throws to the outside and that's caught by Linwood and he has a first down an eight yard gain on that play so first and ten Seth Russell in shotgun hand off to Linwood Linwood to the outside he has tremendous blocking into Sooner territory knocked out of bounds at about the 40 yard line a 20 yard gain on that play now Russell it's a read option and he's gonna be brought down on third and two at the line of scrimmage. So now that brings up fourth and two, and the Baylor Bears will go for it. Nearing the end of the first, Russell. It's a handoff to Johnny Jefferson. He's to the outside, and he's got the first, and then is absolutely leveled, but they do get the first down, and this should be the last play of the first quarter. So first to ten, Russell throws to the outside. Caught by Chris Platt, and a 24-yard touchdown for Baylor will tie this game right back up. We are actually going to get one more play this quarter. Three seconds to go in the first. Trevor Knight drops back, rolls out to his left side. Knight looking downfield, throws on the run. It's caught by Taylor McNamara. He's got the first down and down at the 35-yard line, a 19-yard gain on that play. Now second and three. Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight looking downfield, rolling out to his right side. And Knight's going to fumble the ball, and it's recovered by Baylor. Knight was trying to do a pump fake to throw off some defenders, and it did not work at all as he fumbled. So first and 10, Baylor in tremendous field position. Russell takes a snap, throws downfield, caught by KB Cannon, an 11-yard gain on that play. Now third and nine in shotgun, Russell takes the snap. Downfield, he has Armstead down inside the five before finally being brought down by Stephen Parker. So first and goal, Seth Russell in shotgun takes the snap. He sits in the pocket, throws to the end zone, touchdown to Andrew Harris, and Baylor will now have the lead. So Trevor Knight comes out, six and a half minutes to go in the second. 
Knight rolls out to his right side, looking downfield. Trevor Knight throws, and that's caught by Mark Andrews, and he has the first down, a 15-yard gain on that play. Now Trevor Knight in shotgun again on second and nine. Knight drops back and going deep downfield. He's got an open man. That's Jeffrey Meade down inside the 25-yard line. A huge gain for the Sooners. Now third and nine. Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight rolls out to his right side. He's looking downfield. He has Mark Andrews again, and he is knocked out of bounds at about the 10-yard line, a 13-yard gain on that play. So now first and goal from the 10. Samaj P. Ryan in the backfield. They give it to P. Ryan. He's into the end zone. Touchdown OU. And now they tie the game up. So it's 21 to 21 with about four and a half minutes to go in the half. And now Baylor will get the ball back. Second and 10. Seth Russell takes the snap. And he throws downfield. And that pass is caught by Andrew Harris. A 19-yard gain on the play. Now first and 10 for Baylor. Four and a half minutes to go in the half. Seth Russell, read option. He's going to keep it himself. He's got the first down. And finally brought down by Zach Sanchez, a 16-yard gain on the play. So first and 10, Russell takes the snap, and he's finally getting some pressure, and KD Cannon makes the catch, an 11-yard gain. So first and 10 once again for Baylor. Russell drops back under pressure and leveled by DJ Ward, a loss of 7. Maybe that'll rattle him for a little bit. Third and 21 for the Bears. Seth Russell takes the snap, throws downfield, caught by Andrew Harris, and they will be about 13 yards short of the first. So on 4th and 13, they bring out the field goal unit. And the kick is away, and it is wide right, no good. So it's still tied up. And now Oklahoma has the ball, three minutes to go in the half. Trevor Knight takes the snap, throws downfield. It's caught by Micaiah Quick. He could have got a little bit more yardage on that had that been an accurate pass. So now 3rd and inches a few plays later. Handoff to Keith Ford up the middle, and he's got a first down, a 7-yard gain on that play. So now 3rd and 10. A few plays later, Trevor Knight drops back. And he throws to the outside once again, this time caught by Quick. And he's got a 13-yard gain and another set of downs for Oklahoma. So now a minute and two seconds to go in the half, and it's third and six. Trevor Knight takes a snap, doesn't see anyone open, so he's going to roll out to his right side. And Knight breaks a tackle, but then is forced out of bounds at about the 20. He will be five yards short of the first, so that will bring out Kelvin Taylor to attempt a field goal. On fourth and five, and no, it's a fake. Baker Mayfield has it, and he is sacked. For a loss of 10, Bob Soups went risky on that play, and it did not pay off. This game is still tied. Two seconds to go until halftime. Russell in shotgun, takes the snap, almost hit on the play, and then throws it right downfield. That's going right to Stephen Parker, and Stan Von Taylor picks it off. Parker would have had a chance to run that back maybe, but Stan Von Taylor was not allowing that to happen, so this game will be tied going into halftime. So now Seth Russell comes out second and one. In shotgun, and he gives it to Shock Linwood up the middle. And Linwood has a first down with an 11 yard gain. He has gashed us all day. Second and 10. Now, handoff to Johnny Jefferson, who breaks a tackle. And the Sooners finally get him after a 10 yard gain to set up third and inches. So, on third and inches, Russell under center play action throws to the outside, caught by Armstead. He breaks a tackle from Atari Bird. And then is brought down by Zach Sanchez. Another first down for Baylor. Driving down the field with ease right now, third and 13. Throws to the outside, caught by Jones, and he is brought down after a 13-yard gain to set up fourth and inches, but Baylor would go for it. So on fourth and inches, they send Armstead in motion, give it to Shock Linwood, and he's got the first down, brought down by Jordan Evans, just not quick enough. Second and nine, Seth Russell takes the snap and throws to the outside, caught by Andrew Harris, who breaks a tackle, and then is brought down at the 10, a 13-yard gain on the play. Now second and one, five minutes to go in the quarter, hand off to Johnny Jefferson, touchdown Baylor, and they will take a seven-point lead over the Sooners right now. So now out comes Trevor Knight, second and ten, 4.47 to go in the third. Knight rolls out to his right side. Trevor Knight looking downfield, finally throws, caught by Taylor McNamara, and he gets out of bounds. Another 23-yard gain for McNamara on the play. So first and ten. Now handoff to Ford. Ford to the outside, has good blocking, runs over one Baylor player, and is forced out of bounds across the 40, now in Baylor territory. So on third and nine, Trevor Knight takes the snap, Throws over the middle, caught by Seth McFarland, who's down at the 15-yard line, first and 10 for the Sooners. He has not been a big part of the offense this year, obviously. First and 10, in shotgun, Trevor Knight gives it to Keith Ford up the middle, and Ford is going to be brought down after a 10-yard gain, second and inches. Now Samaj P. Ryan in the game. Give it to P. Ryan, and Samaj is brought down at the one-yard line, a four-yard gain on the play. And now they come out again. Samaje still in the backfield. But they give it to Dimitri Flowers. Touchdown OU. And this game is all tied up at 28. 
So now minute 20 to go in the quarter. Second and five. Russell takes the snap. Throws to the outside. Caught by KD Cannon. And he is brought down by Stephen Parker. A 13-yard gain on the play. Now second and four. Russell takes the snap. Throws downfield. Caught by Linwood who breaks a tackle. And is then brought down after a nine-yard gain on that play. Baylor has just been able to move the ball way too easily today. And now first and ten. They give it to Johnny Jefferson again. And he breaks another tackle and is met by Stan Von Taylor. But he drags him across the first down line. A 12-yard gain on the play. Third and inches as we start the fourth quarter. And he gives it to Shock Linwood. Linwood to the outside. And he is going to be pushed across the first down marker. Only a one-yard gain, but that's all they needed. Now second and goal. Give it to Linwood again. No, Seth Russell's going to keep it on a read option. They even fooled the commentator. And a touchdown for Baylor. They will now take a seven-point lead. So with six and a half minutes to go, Trevor Knight going to try to tie this game up again. Knight rolls out to his left side. Trevor Knight looking downfield, throws, and it is intercepted by Sanders. And he is breaking tackles and finally brought down in Oklahoma territory. That is a very, very bad turnover there. As now Baylor has a chance to take a two-possession lead. Hand off to Shock Linwood up the middle. He breaks a tackle, and he will have another first down for Baylor. So now third and three. They need this stop. Russell in shotgun, and he pitches back to Linwood. Shock Linwood is going to get that first down also, a four-yard gain on the play. They need to force a turnover, third and 11. Seth Russell takes a snap from shotgun, throws downfield, and that pass is caught by Zamora, and he is brought down inside the five, an 18-yard gain on the play. Now second and goal, five minutes to go in the game. Hand off to Johnny Jefferson, into the end zone, touchdown OU. Make it a 42-28 ball game. Oklahoma's going to need a miracle. Third and four. Knight takes the snap and is sacked on the play. A loss of eight to make it fourth and 12. The Sooners like to go for it even though if they fail this it would be tremendous field position. Trevor Knight downfield and he has Jeffrey Meade at the 50 and he's brought down a 32-yard gain on the play. Now third and 14. Three minutes to go. Trevor Knight drops back, throws over the middle and picked off by Sells with three minutes to go. Not exactly how the Sooners planned this ending to be. So now 30 seconds to go in the game, second and four. Hand off to Johnny Jefferson up the middle. Touchdown, Baylor, 49-28. to Not a good finish at all. So now 23 seconds to go in the game. This game is over. Trevor Knight just playing for dignity. And now he throws downfield. Caught by Makai Quick in Baylor territory. And he is brought down inside the 10. I don't know where this offense was three drives ago. But now first and goal under 10 seconds to go. Trevor Knight throws to the end zone. Touchdown Oklahoma, but it does not matter at this point. Final score would be 49-35, to and with that loss, all hopes of going to the national championship are gone. Our defense just got absolutely dominated today. A lot got exposed on our defense. Namely, if um, we have a corner go down, we can't defend the pass at all. We weren't defending it well before he got injured. And then once he got injured and Zach Sanchez had to go over to the outside, and I think it was either Stephen Parker or Stan Von Taylor had to move to the inside, it just it wasn't pretty. And then our offense stopped going in the fourth quarter. I will admit a couple of those turnovers were my fault. The um, fumble by Trevor Knight early on in the game, I was trying to juke the defender that was running at me, and I guess I wasn't 100% across the line of scrimmage yet. So we pump fake, and then he got sacked and fumbled. And then probably the second inter or the first interception was my fault because it was a bad read and I lobbed it. Now the second one was just a tremendous play by the safety, and I don't know why the screen went black there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, even though we lost. And hopefully you guys come back whenever we take on Oklahoma State.